In this week's Bleach, X-Man is sick of the games. This game is fucking horrible! Bleach, chapter 646, the second eye starts with Shinji saying they should get going and leave Shunsui behind. Momo somehow briefly misinterprets this as helping him before realizing what he said. All right, if that's what you- Wait a minute! He asks Nanao to chime in, but she says they should go ahead while she helps out Shunsui. Then he asks the lieutenants what Ukitaki would say. He's a straggler. Stragglers must be left to fend for themselves. I was. This seems to inspire the rest to keep on moving, but Shinji's got one more thing to mention since he's on a roll. I hate all of you. Nah, he says that even Yamamoto would tell them to keep moving if he were the one being left behind. Wouldn't they agree? Fuck yeah! After all, shouldering the lives of his soldiers is what it means to be Captain Commander. But can he live up to that? I'm building reputation with everybody before I go on my murderous rampage. X-Man thinks Shunsui is being reckless getting so close, but Shunsui thinks it's fine because he's already managed to cut his gun again. God! No, it's getting the fever goddamn ridiculous! His intent was to slice off his arm, but he guesses he showed a little mercy. X-Man jumps away and fixes his gun. How the hell did he do that? Any moron with a crucible and acetylene torch and a cast iron waffle maker could done the same. Turns out the gun is actually his bow created from Reishi. Shunsui sees no matter how many times he cuts it, he'll just fix it. But he's forgotten the rules already. I'm over here. You're over here? Yeah, I'm over here with him. He attacks but misses and reminds X-Man that if he even catches a glimpse of his shadow, it may or may not be his silhouette. No, I've cheated you. I've cheated all of you and you didn't even notice. He recalls that as children, our shadows would sometimes scare the crap out of us. I think I made him shit himself. All of Shunsui's clones strike, but the real one stabs X-Man right through the back. Oh boy, here I go killing again. But X-Man opens his other eye and exclaims it's the third time doing so. This allows the true X-Access to work as bullets will go through his enemies and their swords will pass through him. Well, that hack of an ability needs a new name. It's called Mind Rape. It's actually pretty mellow. When he's in danger, he can open his eye for a brief moment, allowing weapons to pass right through him. But after the third time, he can complete the fight with his eye open. Well, that's not I, I don't even know what that means. X-Man admits to being the final Quincy granted powers and box greatest creation. For someone so godlike to be vulnerable three times is something that shouldn't happen. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! His eye starts to glow and the Quincy symbol brightly forms over him. I'm blind! Then we see his pretty kick-ass Volstan dig, which translates to God's judgment. That's badass. It is badass. <laughs> really it's cool. Badass, yeah. yeah. This form renders Shunsui immobile, allowing X-Man to fire multiple shots upon him. You shot me in my stomach! I'm gonna die now, probably! So, decent chapter this week. I think we could have done without the overblown leaving behind of Shunsui in the beginning, but I guess Kubo wanted to remind everyone that Ukitake is possibly dead and reference old man Yamamoto. However, once again, this chapter felt like more explaining was done than actual fighting. Between the rebuilding of X-Man's gun and his true power, the only action we saw was a stab to the back and gunshots on the last panel. I think next week we'll see the fight pick up, because what we're getting right now is all talk and no fight. We're very, very pissed off. The great thing about this chapter is that we finally saw Quincy use Volstandig. Like, when was even the last time we saw a Volstandig used against a Shinigami? And it's actually pretty badass. It's like a cooler version of Vizen's butterfly form. And with eight wings and three holes in each of them, it looks like he can shoot 24 times at once, along with being able to have attacks go through him. I guess Box saved the best Quincy for last to create because I don't know how even a Captain Commander can beat someone who can't miss, but you will always miss. Shinsui needs to call shenanigans on this turn. Shenanigans! Shenanigans! So I'll give this chapter a 7.5 out of 10. The Shinigami are moving on without Shunsui, the games are still ongoing, and X-Man's Volstandig power and look is sick. For my question of the week, how will Shunsui attack X-Man if his blade will always go right through him? I do ask this because I'm certain he's not dead. Favorite comments always featured in the next review, here are last week's winners. <laughs> All right, that does it for me. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. I'll be back next week with more of God's judgment. Peace.